In my previous video about high temperature heat pumps, I got a bit of flack for referring to the Cozy 6, but there's been a bit of an update. It's now on the MCS database, so it's been tested under lab conditions, and you can see that it's not very impressive. These figures are pretty poor. At 55 degrees, a scop of 3.06, that's not too bad. It shouldn't be running that high in theory very often but look what happens when we get down to a flow temperature of 35 degrees it's not even reaching a scop of four that's pretty poor for a modern up-to-date heat pump but just to illustrate the point let's go and compare against uh, my valent heat pump oh surprisingly um, if we look here octopus energy have certified some heat pumps already quite a number of years ago back in 2021 so going back three years and surprisingly they're more efficient than the new cozy six that's coming out i found that a bit of a, a shocker when i dug into the well not this one actually this one's not as efficient as the well actually the high temperature performance was better on that one but let's jump over to the valent aerotherm plus this is probably the equivalent this is a five kilowatt unit so not the same as mine it's 0.5 uh, better on the scop uh, at 35 degrees and then as we get up to 55 degrees it's about the same 3.06 but those lower flow temperatures is, is where it's going to sit most of the time my heat pump is always operating most of the time it's 30 degrees 35 degrees pretty much all the time apart from it's doing hot when it's doing hot water but that's the important range so this is my exact one the seven kilowatt you can see that mine is at 35 degrees 4.36 and um, then at 55 degrees one does 3.39 so is a bit more efficient than the five kilowatt at doing the hot water cycle for example for the domestic hot water recharging that cylinder uh, but not quite as efficient at the low uh, steady state heating when you compare the 7 to the 5. So here's a Panasonic that they are known for being quite efficient. So there's the model number of it. And um, let's just have a quick look at the scops of this particular Panasonic. 4.69 at 35 degrees compared to the 3.98 of the Cozy. And at 55 degrees... Where are we at here? 3.39. Okay, so that's again 0.33. Uh, and you may well say, well, here's some other Panasonic units. Uh, so this actually goes to show that all of these were certified on the same day. But that should hopefully go to show that there is some variance on the MCS database between the products that are tested under lab, lab conditions. But there is some anecdotal as well as real world uh, measured data that goes to show that installers with good system design seem to get a similar cop and similar scop um, despite different buildings and different equipment that they may be installing and um, that should hopefully show us that the person installing it and the way the system is designed is a lot more important than the products that are used. Now, um, my, I don't want this to come across as another video bashing Octopus because I love Octopus Energy. I love what they're doing. And you'll see in many of my other videos, I've promoted a lot of their smart tariffs and the the way that they've been disruptive to the energy market and sh shaking things up over the last few years has been brilliant and is to be commended. And I also applaud what they're doing with uh, being a disruptive influence in the heat pump uh, market, which is very much needed for the consumer, at least. I know that many installers have got their own frustrations with the business model that Oct Octopus um, function and the way that they've got it structured. But there's a lot of good things to be applauded and be commended. Now, um, those of you who've been waiting patiently for a Cozy 6 since it was announced last year or whenever, you probably haven't got much longer to wait, seeing as the, it's been tested and verified by MCS and the, the data is now available on their database. It should probably be rolling out and actually be in production right now or very soon anyway. Um, but those of you who have waited or are still waiting, and it may still be quite a queue to get a Cozy 6, I don't know if it's worth bothering. Um, from a pure performance stance, 
I already outlined in my previous video why the Cozy 6 won't perform any better than any other heat pump and now based on the data we've got if anything it will perform worse than a Valent, a Panasonic, some of the Daikin units um, but that being said it could claw back what it, get, what it loses in a little bit of efficiency a little bit of the cop and scop it could probably claw back in its uh, smart tariff and time of use tariff integration and if it does natively work with Octopus, Octopus Agile and Octopus Cozy, which I don't rate, um, steer away from that, I'd say. Um, why uh, why would we steer away from uh, being able to use those benefits, for example? Well, uh, I guess the only other option like that at the moment, uh, th although there are some people with some bus controls and home assistant who seem to have kind of cracked the formula for hacking their heat pump to work with agile for example and uh, and well done to them i applaud them but it's not your everyday joe blogs kind of project to get that working um there is the homely controller and the homely setup which promises to do exactly that makes very uh, bold claims about what they can achieve um, and i'd love to see if homely really can do that because then we could really have the best of both worlds we could have uh, the installer of our choice with the best product of our choice and then we could still have some integration with some time of use tariffs and ultimately uh, a lot of the manufacturers now they roll out these heat pumps with smart controls anyway and it would only be a firmware update away for my valent heat pump for example to then download uh, octopus agile data once a day and then tweak the uh, programming for the coming 24 hour period to adjust to make use of those time of use tariffs is it's, it's available anyway i didn't want this to be another hate on octopus video quite the opposite um and if you weren't aware of the mcs database then maybe you'll have something to go and waste some time on now i apologize anyway on my next videos are going to be all on much more positive notes than some of my previous whinges, I hope anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye.